about the videos. What vision did you have for your videos? And did anyone influence your philosophy for creating them? Um, actually, kind of another surfing uh, analogy, but Bud Brown. Uh, if you guys know any surfers, all about Endless Summer, uh, the Endless Summer series, Endless Summer 2, the making of Endless Summer, uh, was, uh, was made in, I think, 19... God, I'll probably butcher this, but 65, somewhere around there in the 60s. And uh, it was a story of two guys who traveled around the world following the summer and, uh, and catching waves. And um, I, love, I just love that film, not only because it wasn't just a surf film. It, it was, to me, it was a departure from regular surf films. Uh, I've seen other surf films, and they're like highlights of, uh, of all, a lot of great waves and music, but that was about it. You just saw these wave after wave after wave, and it was all the same. Bud Brown had a different I idea, and he, he did show some great surfing, but he also showed the humanity of it. He showed what these people's lives were like, and I love that, and I thought that what was really exciting to me. So when we did our videos uh, and continuing, Sure, we want to teach, absolutely, that's the main thing. We want to teach you uh, uh, exactly what you need to know. We're going to break things down. It's going to be slow motion, and we've improved on that even for the, the, the newer ones. And it's got to be clean and sharp, and you've got to be able to see it. But more than that, uh, and it's kind of getting Kelly Slater into it as well again, I looked to that, well, if Kelly Slater was making a surf video, like a learn a surf video, yeah, I want to learn the technical stuff, but I want to know what kind of guy he is. I want to know what it's like being a surfer. And I tried to, to do that with our bartending stuff. I want you, you guys to know what it's like being a bartender right? and getting into the, the life and then the, that we're joking and we're laughing. We're real people. Um, one negative thing, actually, I've, I've gotten, I think, four negative letters or emails about our videos uh, in, in the past. And one of them was a guy that uh, he just hated them. He thought it was not professional. It was this and that. He, even, he hated me, thought it was, uh, I wasn't slick enough and I should have got a Hollywood actor and all this stuff. And uh, I actually, I emailed him back, wrote a big letter, I thanked him for that. I said, you know, I really appreciate you taking the time. You obviously put a lot of work and effort. It was like a page and a half email. I said, I, I really appreciate all those things. And interesting, if, if you allow me, I'd like to go over the points that you made uh, because, you know, I'm sorry you didn't like them and uh, you're happy to, to give you your money back because if you don't like them, fine. We'll send them back, no problem with that. Um, but the things you actually mentioned that you hated, that makes me feel great because that was our goal. Because I'm not a real slick Hollywood actor. I'm just a bartender. And that's what we want to put out there. So um, I kind of got that from like my idea about Kelly Slater and from, from Brother. Lauren, can you come to the office, please? Lauren, to the office or pick up line three. That's all right. Uh, I just have to go pick up line three and go to the office. Yeah, pick up I'll, I'll, be, I'll be right back. But I got that from Bud Brown and Endless Summer as well. So uh, that's kind of what I wanted to portray is, is this time because this is a real amazing emerging time with this kind of bartending. It didn't exist really hardly at all before, uh, well, before 10 years ago. I mean, we was really not very much out there, and it's just exploded around the world. It's just, it's amazing. So uh, I kind of wanted to show that. Very cool. How do you feel about brunette girls? <laughs> yeah. Why know, are they so different than the blonde? I'm okay with brunettes also. Page? <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 